you're going to hear things that are right at the cutting edge of science. We had changed uh, wheat into franken wheat, and they didn't know it. You've got damage that needs to be repaired. You've got to get your adrenals back. You've got to get your thyroid back. You've got to reduce the inflammation. You've got to give your body super nutrients, good bacteria, digestive enzymes, and agents for the intestinal tract to heal itself. And they could not figure out why they couldn't walk. Paralyzed. And no one could explain why. Medical enigma. Three months later, 24 of the 25 could walk. I've seen so many healthy patients in their mid-80s, mid just fully vital, able to do almost anything they want to do. I so wish that all the gastroenterologists and neurologists and the psychiatrists and the obstetric gynecologists and the fertility specialists and the orthopedic surgeons and all these people just get in a room and look at this stuff together. Doc, I am so suicidal. I'm on a road right now, right to your office. It's everything I can do to not drive this car into a bridge. She had introduced gluten just an hour before that. It is no longer the staff of life that it was promised. It has become this inflammatory force that has profoundly affected us, driving some of my patients to suicide. I see in this room here some of my patients that have been with me for over 20 years. That I told over 20 years ago to go off of gluten. So is this a fad? No, I think the public is waking up to the fact that there's something to this. That when they go off of gluten, they feel better. Welcome to functional medicine. You have to have friends, family, and people that you can relate to and share with. You need to be part of the web of community. That's why being local is so important. <laughs> it should empower you to live an anti-inflammatory lifestyle that's clean, so you can really fully live what God intended us to. So does that mean that everybody can benefit from going gluten-free? Yes.